get out of the way, it's not going to be a I just thought I'd quickly pop on by and share with you a very handy little tip. Check it out. If you intend to be an owner builder and you're doing a job similar to this one, then you're going to have to learn the simple art of tying a tight string line. It can't be that hard, surely. Just wrap it around like that and then I'll tie it off by doing a double granny double sheep shank truckies knot. Hang on, just that's it. Look at that. Too easy. Yeah, that seriously. Bit loose. I'll tighten that up. Yeah, must be something a bit easier than that. I've got it around here. That's it, like that. Uh, how do I tighten that? Uh, right. Uh huh. Yeah. Hmm. There must be a simpler way. Now, the reason for the video is that if you're ever doing something like a slab layout, putting up roof trusses, or even laying floorboards you'll be working off string lines. And the tighter you can get them, the better it is. Some guys like the method of simply making a loop with your finger and twirling the line around it half a dozen times. Get that loop there and place it over the nail. You can then pull that as tight as you want. And as soon as you get the tightness you require, just pull it back up against that nail. Give the string a couple of winds, and there you have it. And to loosen it, just reverse the process. And you finish up, bang, all done. Now personally, I'm not a big fan because after a period of time, you finish up with a very twisty string line. Now the method that I prefer is to get your string and just wrap it around the nail once. Now you can pull that as tight as you like. And when you get it to where you want, which is like that there, just wrap the string around the nail four or five times, then bring it down under that string over the top and bang you are done and to release it all you have to do is reverse the process how simple was that so there you go so there you go that's how you tie a string line great Tip knackers! Well, I hope you enjoyed and found that video useful. And as per usual, a big thumbs up is always greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to pop over to my Facebook page at DIY for Knuckleheads. Alrighty, it's 8 a.m. and my cup of tea is well overdue. So till next time, I'm out of here. Cheers.